This is how you influence your specific person's thoughts. And before you come at me, no, we're not controlling them. Whether you know it or not, you are always influencing people's thoughts about you, not just your specific person's. This is what we refer to as everyone is you pushed out. So many people confuse themselves when they hear everyone is you pushed out. Like how? How can everyone be me pushed out? First of all, it's important to understand that nobody has free will. Why? Because we are all connected to everyone and everything. On a physical level, we look separate, but because we're all connected to everyone and everything, because everything in the world is made up of energy, that makes us one. So we are all one consciousness, which means you are the world pushed out. Now, your specific person has multiple different personalities, and that is dependent on who they are dealing with. So your specific person has a different personality towards you. They have a different personality towards their friends. They have a different personality towards their siblings, etc., etc. Because we all have multiple different personalities and it all comes down to who we are dealing with. So if you are questioning, how can I influence my specific person's thoughts? Or how can I influence other people's thoughts about me? It's because you think they're separate from you, but they're not. Your specific person only thinks about you, what you think about you, what you think about them, and what you think they are thinking about you. This is how the law of thought transmission works. You are telepathically sending thoughts out to them. So your only job is to be concerned about what you think of you. This is why working on your self-concept is key when you are manifesting because everything stems from your self-concept. So to influence anyone's thoughts about you, whether that's your specific person, your friends, your work colleagues, your parents, your siblings, you need to change the way you think and describe yourself. When you change the way that you see yourself and because everyone is you pushed out, people will start to reflect that back to you and your specific person will also feel that and you will know that they are already thinking differently of you. But in order for any of this to work, you really need to back yourself. You need to fully convince yourself that you are the prize and you are worth it. That is why working on your self-concept is a must. Because if you do the work, then you will only prove to yourself that you really can influence other people's thoughts about you.